Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Jake Allen Bogan, of course, for the Jake Allen Bogan channel. And this is going to be a quick hitter video. I'm just going to be uh, comparing three quarterbacks and uh, mainly for the benefit of one. I think one has absolutely been overlooked. Um, he has been unfairly treated and he's going to get his job replaced. And at the end of the day, I, I think, I mean, anybody that knows me, um, I've said it for a while, I think the quarterback... The young quarterback ecosystem in the NFL is completely broken. It's completely shattered. It'll never recover um, because you have players like Gardner Minshew, the second, that no matter how well they play, they're always going to get replaced by a college kid like you know Trevor Lawrence or Justin Fields. They're always going to get yanked for Mike Glennon. Um, at the end of the day by you know a coach that doesn't deserve to be a coach in the NFL they're always going to get blamed even though they're the only one that came out with uh, you know the win for their team so yes I'm a little annoyed I think um, I, I think Garner Minshew has gotten some unfair treatment um, you know at the end of the day look I get he's 6'1 he's 225 he's not physically imposing he doesn't have the best arm in the world he's not the most accurate he's not the fastest but at the end of the day the Jaguars got all they could ask for in a sixth round pick and I'm going to explain and show you exactly why that I'm not wrong and that Gardner Minshew is not overrated and he's not being treated fairly he's being unfairly treated and he is absolutely underrated he shouldn't be the next ryan fitzpatrick because ryan fitzpatrick didn't deserve to be the next ryan fitzpatrick ryan fitzpatrick should have been a starter Gardner Minshew should be a starter this now hear me out i'm not saying i don't understand why jacksonville would move on from him and they have the one in 12 i can't say that i don't understand how they wouldn't go out and get their franchise quarterback but this is more about the people that think Gardner Minshew was just a jag, just a guy. He's not somebody that can go out and start for an NFL team. Well, I'm about to blow that up right in your face. So here we go. Washington State uh, transferred from East Carolina. Gardner Minshew II. Um, look, he's 24 years old. He was drafted in the sixth round, 178th overall uh, this season. He is 1-6. Mind you, that's the only win Jacksonville has the entire season, which is week one against the Colts. He's 1-6 in, in eight games with a 65.1 completion percentage, 2,033 yards, 14 touchdowns, 5 interceptions, and 6.8 yards per attempt. He was also benched for a guy in Mike Glennon who has been around for a while. He is the eight, he's 31 years old he's a six foot seven quarterback so he's physically imposing but his entire career he has a six and 19 record 5,763 yards 39 touchdowns 23 interceptions nothing to go crazy about he's been in the league since he was 24 years old um former starter for the uh buccaneers so this isn't to trash Mike Glennon, okay? I couldn't play quarterback in the NFL, so I'm not about to say that he's garbage. Not, no, that's not what this is about. What this is about is to explain that Garner Minshew is a franchise quarterback. We may not know how good he is, right? We may not realize he could get better. He could get worse. We don't know. But through the first 20 games or 22 games, 20 starts in Garner Minshew's career, it's pretty interesting what I came out with. So I wanted to compare him to two quarterbacks in mind that I think are two of the greatest quarterbacks to come out of the sixth round. And you have to understand, one is considered the GOAT by many in Tom Brady, the 199th overall pick. And the other is kind of forgotten. He's become a little bit underrated. And 168th overall, Mark Bulger, who actually quarterbacked the St. Louis Rams, when Kurt Warner went down with injury, ended up taking over as the de facto quarterback under center for the greatest show on turf. And he had himself a quick, short, but fun career with the greatest show on turf. Um, and obviously showed you he can play quarterback in this league. The other guy was Matthew Hasselbeck, who I didn't even find it necessary to compare his stats. His, his stats aren't even comparable to Gardner Minshew. And we're only comparing the first two seasons, basically, adjusted, because, of course, 
you want 22 games of Gardner Minshew to compare to 21, uh, 22 games of Tom Brady and 22 games of Mark Bulger. So here we have it. Um, Gardner Minshew, 22 games played, 19 starts. He has a 7-12 and record, and he's also quarterbacking the post-elite defense Jacksonville Jaguars. I can't stress that enough. This is not the Jaguars team that had that elite defense that led them to the AFC Championship game. No. That was Blake Bortles quarterbacking that. Gardner Minshew got what was left over. And for the most part, he got a defense that was pretty much done with Dante Fowler. He was already in L.A. They ended up trading Jalen Ramsey. And this, this defense has imploded. It's nowhere near what it was. So let me just start off by saying that the 7-12 and record is mainly because he doesn't really have a ton going for him on the defensive side of the ball. But this guy, 62.4 completion percentage, 5,304 yards, 35 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 6.9 yards per attempt, 241.1 yards per game, 92.1 passer rating, Four fourth quarter comebacks, four game winning drives. He's been sacked 55 times and has 488 rushing yards. Gardner Minshew is doing everything you could ask him to do as a sixth round quarterback coming in and trying to quarterback a team that literally they have some weapons. I'm not going to lie. I love DJ Chark, but they don't have a number one, a true go get it Devontae Adams, Julio Jones receiver that's bailing him out. And they don't have a good defense. They don't have the, the elite defense they had before he got there. So, this guy's had to do more with less. So that's first and foremost. Now, let's go to Tom Brady. Okay? So Tom Brady, in 22 games played, 20 started. He was a 199th overall pick for the New England Patriots. 14-8 and record on a Super Bowl champion New England Patriots team. 64.3 completion percentage. 4,598 yards, 32 touchdowns, 21 interceptions, 6.8 yards per attempt, 209 passing yards per game, 86.9 passer rating, 52 sacks, 52 times he was sacked, and 79 rushing yards. So right off the cuff, Gardner Minshew is doing more with less, and he's doing a lot more than Brady. He's taking better care of the ball than Brady did his first two years in the NFL, and the, the passer rating's higher. He has a higher completion percentage, Brady does, and obviously has a better record because of what's around him. But Minshew, at the very least, if you want to give Tom Brady his GOAT premise, whatever you want to say, at the very least, you can't say Minshew isn't hanging around and isn't comparable in his first two legitimate seasons. And not full seasons, but first two, or rather, first 22 games played, only 19 starts to Tom Brady's 20. He has a lot more passing yards. He has three more passing touchdowns and 10 less interceptions. That is something to keep in mind. Now let's go to Mark Bulger. Bulger, sixth round, 168th quarter, uh, 168th overall by the Green Bay Packers. He goes to the St. Louis Rams, 22 games played, 22 games started. So he started more than Minshew. He started more than Tom Brady, 18 and four record on the elite greatest show on turf St. Louis Rams team. 63.5 completion percentage, which is higher than Gardner Minshew, is lower than Tom Brady. Uh, 5,671 passing yards, which you have to keep in mind, he's played three more games with the greatest show on turf weapons than Gardner Minshew. So three more games than Gardner Minshew with greatest show on turf weapons. Keep that in mind. And this is not to knock these guys. This is to show you why one guy isn't just a guy. Uh... 36 touchdowns, so one more than Gardner Minshew, and three more games played with greatest show and turf weapons. 28 interceptions, 87.2 passer rating to Gardner Minshew's 92.1. Yeah, he has 257.8 passing yards per game. 49 times sacked, so he got sacked fewer times, had better uh, protection, and 62 rushing yards. So Gardner Minshew is a mobile quarterback who, when you look at it, Obviously, he can run. He's doing more with less. He's more efficient. He takes care of the ball better. And at the end of the day, people are going to judge him because he doesn't win games. Well, why do you think he doesn't win games? Do you think his 35 to 11 touchdown to interception ratio, do you think that's the reason they're losing games? Is that is that why they're 7-12? Uh, no. 
I mean, also, let's look. Mark Bolger, well, he had Mike Martz. Tom Brady, well, he had the greatest coach ever in Bill Belichick. Gardner Minshew, he has Doug Marone, who shouldn't be a coach in the NFL. So, I don't know what to tell you guys. I mean, for people that literally don't think Garner Minshew, and they think he's just a journeyman, a future journeyman quarterback, or he's just a guy, or doesn't deserve an opportunity, what do you want him to do? 35 and 11 is awesome. In 19 starts, 35 and 11 with what he has? He's playing good football. And I just compared him to two other sixth round picks who are, you know, I mean, Mark Bolger was, he was a good quarterback. Sure, I mean, his prime lasted, like, this long, but he was good. And Tom Brady, we know who Tom Brady is. So, this is my point, okay? And, and he destroyed Matthew Hasselbeck. I'm not even going to show you Mas Matthew Hasselbeck's stats. I'm not even going to tell you because they're not comparable. I looked through all the six-round picks, and I was like, no, get that out of here. So, at the end of the day, Gardner Minshew, he could start for the 49ers. He could start... For the Lions, if they're going to get rid of Stafford. He could start for the Panthers if they wanted to move on for Bridgewater. He could start for the Saints if they wanted to move on from Breeze. I'm sorry, he's better. I, and I, I love Jameis Winston. I would take him over Jameis Winston. And I think he's better than Taysom Hill. If you took three Taysom Hills, he's better than all three of them combined. So, no. Um, and then you look, I mean, what else? The Patriots, you better hope to, you better hope Bill Belichick doesn't get a hold of Gardner Minshew. I got news for you. Uh, so they could handle him. The Raiders, if they move on from Derek Carr, there are all these these options. I mean, you know, obviously a lot of these spots are going to get filled by draft picks. And, you know, but if Jacksonville doesn't want this guy, which fine, if they want to draft their guy, cool. But let's not act like he's not like what? What is and this is not a knock on Baker Mayfield, but what does the number one overall pick in that said draft, in that same draft, what does he have that Gardner Minshew doesn't? I saw Doug uh, Farrar say that on Twitter, and I thought to myself, I'm like, what does he have? I mean, he's a little bit faster, maybe. Minshew is doing more with less. And he got benched for Mike Glennon. So obviously his coach has no idea what he's doing. I mean, also, people just overrated the fact he made Syracuse somewhat good, had a solid year with the Bills, and then got overrated. I mean, I, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a big Doug Marone fan. I don't see his resume. I don't see what he's done. So my point is not to crap on Doug Marone. My point is not to crap on Baker Mayfield or Tom Brady or Mark Bulger or any of those because I have respect for all of them. Although Doug Marone probably shouldn't be in the NFL as a head coach. I'll just say that. But the idea that Gardner Minshew isn't an NFL quarterback is just preposterous. Sure, he could struggle down the line. Later on, he could struggle. Sure, I mean, he could fall off a cliff. I'm not saying he couldn't. But what I'm saying is right now, from what we've seen, 35, 11, 6.9 yards per attempt, so he's not just dumping it off, dinking and dunking, like Tom Brady was for the majority of his early on in, in, in his rookie year, um, and the, obviously the Super Bowl his rookie year, or his second year, um, 92.1 passer rating. So he's taking care of the football. He's throwing touchdowns. He's He has the yards, 5,304 yards. I mean, in, in one less game than Tom Brady, you know, he, he's he got almost 800 more yards than Tom Brady. I mean, guys, Garner Minshew is an NFL quarterback. I think he's a franchise quarterback. If you don't believe me, that's fine. But the idea that he can't play in this league is ridiculous and needs to stop. That's the end of this this video. That is it. That's all I had to say. But I, you know me. I'm not going to just make a take and not give you my reasoning behind it. The stats show Minshew got benched. Folks, Minshew got benched with 14 touchdowns and 5 interceptions on the season and their only win. For Mike Glennon, a career backup. I'm just saying. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys have watched some uh, some Garner Minshew. You, you know who I'm talking about. If you don't, check him out. He's a fun quarterback. Likes to work off schedule. Uh, pretty fun, mobile. Saw him at the Senior Bowl. Spoke to him at the Senior Bowl. He's a nice guy. Um, you know, wishing him the best of luck again. He's 24 years old. <laughs> Go out and get your... If you are worried about the future of your quarterback position, 
at, in your your organization. Go out and get Gardner Minshew if the Jaguars are done with him. Man, I'll take him. Just don't let him sit the bench. My God, he's way too good to be benched behind Mike Glennon. Anyway, you guys have a good one. Later.